Okay. Hello, everyone. We're back again. There we go. I promise that after the next class, you won't hear from us for nearly 24 hours. <laughs> yep. Yep. We're back on Peach Whimsy. We're going to do a Peach Whimsy. And then tonight at 7 o'clock, we will use... Best friend. So, what on earth are we going to do? Maybe go on to the card before we pick Whimsy. Blah, 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 it. Do I make... Oh, look, Karen, your first one to turn up. I was just thinking, do I make a page for Karen? Hello, Elise, how are you? Do we use the green and gold companion page and we make like some sort of a green page do we do that hello Jeanette and D hello Faina and Karen Quentin's having um his usual quambi issues Right, so, some leaves, maybe. I've got the leaf print vellum, it's green. And I've got the green and gold companion page. The code on mine is incorrect, just so you know, and that needs to move up. So, what about, it's interesting. I've got a vellum and a dark piece of paper. Okay, what about, what about, what about, what about? Oh, I was reaching for the circles and these came out first. So what about we do instead of reaching for a circle, we reach for a bracket. Now we want something that's going to fit on our what's this one? Yep. We've been in a tub this weekend because we've been back and forth to work. We've been teaching at work, teaching at home. Got to set it all back up in here again in the studio. What about all that eight? I've only got Facebook Okay, so what about if we do like just... I'll turn that fan on, but it is on. It is on, it's getting hotter. What about. We do like a kind of a frame and fill the frame with the leaf because I'm white. And then we also use this to mat a photo, but we make a frame with it, mat a photo with it, and then we do something sort of simple-ish. Okay. Uh, where am I? Who was I up to? Um, hello, Karen and I. Yes, yes, yes. Love the companion page. Okay, Karen. Hello, Karen. Um, hello, Deborah. Here for a few minutes until tea is cooked. Hello, Sandy and Raquel and Diana and Jacqueline have won their first game of the new season. Woohoo! That's awesome. Jacqueline, yeah, well, they won because we didn't watch. Um, hello, Pam. Do you know why we stopped watching football completely? We didn't watch much football, but why we completely stopped watching football? Because if we watched the Cowboys, they lost. Oh, 
That's and why the battery in the car died, because the cowboys were on the radio when I was fixing that. Yeah. Hello, Joanne. Hello, Heather. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to neaten this up a little so that I can go right to the edge. So I'm just kind of come in. And we can't help this white. Trust me, to do it 12 by 12, it's got to be, and to have it pigment printed. Got to, got to sometimes go with the flow. So we'll neaten up that corner. And then what we'll do is we'll cut an 8 inch bracket frame. So, oh, so it's this this corner here, this corner. Could you please ask that kid of ours if he could return my pencil, please? Or his little sister. One of those two has got the pencil out of my cup holder. That's a biro. You shouldn't use biros on your scrapbooking because biro, so biro is not acid free. Gel pen is, biro is not. Biro will eventually bleed and merge and go through. So if you use biro on the back of a photo, it will eventually come through to the front. So yes, one thing I will say, like we are actually quite particular. I have refused many products in the 21 and a half years I've had my store. Many products entry into my store because they weren't, they couldn't tell me they were acid free. I've actually had products where they arrived like double sided tape. I ordered one brand of double sided tape from a distributor in Queensland. I thought, oh yeah, they're distributing this in Queensland. That'll be awesome. And they substituted it for their own brand and it had a really bad smell. And I just told them I need to send someone to pick it up. So yeah, cheap tape with a bad smell. It's not good for your albums either. It's not good for your cards either because you want your cards to last. Okay, so we did the outside and the inside. Um, hello, Mary. Hello, Marie. I keep looking at the leaves type fussy cutting page and wonder how a strip or panel of these would look on a page. Yeah. I sort of, yeah, when I was laying these out. Yep. I actually think these would make a really good circular wreath, these leaves. Or, a, yeah, like a strip. Hello, Trish and Chloe. The bracket frame. Love it. So number eight. So let's cut it out. Now because, now normally I cut on an angle. So I'm going to try and not cut on an angle because I don't want a white edge. Because you could end up with a white edge doing this. Like, not a bad white edge, but just the interior edge. Actually, I'm going to distress this. I love this. the sense of thing you are using. Brackets frames, Chloe, brackets frames. Yeah, oh. bracket frame, template. So I'm actually going to not worry about it because I'm going to distress it. I'm going to say... I had a bit of a, tried to have a bit of a rest, but the kids next door, they're only little. They doing it, so it, kept it was raining and they kept going outside and then they get roused on. All I heard at one stage was what the earth is going on here. Yes, they kept, the little kids kept going outside in the rain and then they get really loud and then they get told off. And then um, I'm positive they got cleaned up at least twice. They are both at school. In younger primary but they're very they're very boisterous little creatures oh are we cutting in the right place yep i draw it in the right place too bad if i didn't because i've only got one of these at home
this bottle of Legos take up parachuting just to put the parachutes. No. Okay. Hello, Bronny. So I think they're inside now. I don't know. Oh, I did get roused quite savagely the last time. Well, oh. they've been out so in and out of the house like. I do yeah. know the soccer ball went for a trip inside. Oh dear. Because that was one of the ones. I had the windows shut and all. Something about this is a kitchen, not a field or something. Yep. And there was quite a bit of what are you two up to? Yeah, I think they just bounced from one thing to the other. But Dad, Dad, Dad. Maybe they just needed to go for a run. Maybe they needed to go for a run around the block. You know what the beach and the rain are. Now. Yep. Like Jasmine's dress. Oh, lovely. I thought you were going to go all make like gold chains with a gold serviette. Uh, we don't have a gold serviette. Are you sure about that? My I'm sister sure. should. I think she's there nice. should be tissue paper because we use a golden coloured tissue paper. Here, I've got a piece of tissue paper here. Tissue paper. Yeah, there. She's been raiding the tissue paper everywhere. Ooh, it's kind of gold. Yep, she's just gone off into a room. She's crafting at a room, Quentin. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm not crafting in my room. Are you sure? I'm playing in my room. Are oh, you playing in your room? Yeah, no crafting in your room. Well, your your room buddy is gonna go toxic if you craft in that room. Mm, probably steal myself. No, she will go cranky. She gets sick of cleaning up after you. Currently, Amelia Ann is um on the bad housemate list because she's rather messy and if she's busy playing Barbies she doesn't even leave a walkway okay you must be talking about the wrong time no no I'm a good kid you're a good kid who's messy. Yeah, good kid who's messy. Oh yeah, I found something on the desk that you may watch. You may watch. Thank you. Do you have my pencil? No. My blue lead pencil? Could you go and ask your brother for it? I did ask your father to go and ask, but he didn't go. Yep, it's on video. I think everyone did hear me ask you to go and check me out my pencil. Rightio. Oh, dearie me. That took a bit of work, didn't it? Oh, I heard you run right away. Oh, Mealy should tell you the riddle. 
It's blue this time. The one before was red. If you have it, you could return it. See, no, I don't. Don't try and steal something from your sister to give me. I don't. I, I actually took this. When you took the scissors and the tape on Friday. Oh, yes. <laughs> See, when you name the incident. There are many. Okay, there's no easy way around distressing this. It's just being careful not to risk your eyes. Thank you. You're welcome. Much appreciated. It's got to catch a ride tomorrow because the battery in Grandma's car died, so he's not driving yeah. himself. Without warning, yes. The battery died, so he's he's got to catch a ride. I don't know how that's going to go down. Can't borrow his sister's car because he's only got an auto license and hers is a manual. Maybe he needs to um, get his mechanical um, overalls on, like he's getting mechanical on and get out there and help Dad to fix his car. I think all he has to do now is put a new injector in it. And... I'll put it all back together. The injector's in it. There's a missing clip and then they just got to put it all back together. So we could actually... Have his car going if he helps them. Do you have big heart templates? I haven't done hearts yet. Are you guys interested in big hearts? Like a set that, you know, like the other sets in the two heart shapes that go up to. Oh, beautiful. I think they go up to six inches, don't they? Five? Five inches? Yeah, I think they go up to five. Well, I just didn't know if anyone would want them. Because, you know, when I do a heart, I just draw a heart. But I could do hearts if you want hearts. I could definitely do it. Heart samples? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so is anyone also interested in, like, I know we got rid of the door, well, we got rid of some of the doors in our extravaganza recently from Kayla, like the, the Pagey ones, but they were not, they were not, they didn't have a lot of body to them. But is anyone interested in, like, they wouldn't be MDF like Kayla did, they'd be, like, actual plywood. But things like doors or heart, like a solid heart in timber or so something you, yes, that you could do and off the page, like to do like off the pagey things. I don't know how to describe what I'm describing, but yes, they, they call them blanks. In the painting world, it's called a blank. Um, but yeah, I just wondered if anyone... I'm going to make myself a couple for a few different things. I've actually got a dream catcher I'm working on that's to make a, a timber and bead dream catcher. I'm going to make um, the boys well in my free time. I really want to try and get the time to make boys in Brisbane a um, Milton and Lockie a Easter door hanger. Now they know they're watching mum's video. An Easter door hanger. You know how they hang oh. something on their door for every celebration of the year? Mm. Had their Christmas one up for a little long. The door hanger, right? Yeah. What? 
but yeah, I, I thought I'd like to make them a, um, I'm going to stick this on here. And it is a bit, because I'm distressed, it's very warpy. Just line that up there. And then up down there. Um, yeah, I'm going to make them like a happy Easter door hanger. Probably just going to be a circle. Tall, tall ones, yep. Deborah likes hearts one. I like hearts too. I don't know why. But I think that just, I, I don't think it's anything special or psychological. I just think some people like that heart and some people like that heart. But I will um, work up a set of heart templates. Two sets of heart templates. And two different shapes. Mm. I'll have to see how much acrylic I've got. I think I've got some. have gone back to allowing me to get my acrylic transported with TNT. I don't know why, but for a little while they weren't using TNT and I'm like, I love CNTs a lot quicker than Australia Post for something that's massive like that. I like getting that transported with them because it comes from, our acrylic comes from a family business in Victoria. Oh, some comes from Queensland, from a family business in Queensland, because we buy a very rare acrylic. We buy two rare ones, and there's only two businesses. They buy, no one has both the acrylics I use that are difficult to get. Hmm. Spent a lot of time on that, haven't I? Right, what else are we going to do? I have got that same song in my head. What? Oh, Dad knows what song it is. Which song is it? The Sewell song that was originally um, Susie Quattro and Chris Newman. Yes, like the popcorn song. So I'm going to use the three inch bracket frame. But what I'll do is I'll put it on in such a way that we'll have to sort of cover up two sides. So let's rough cut this out on two sides. The two sides that we want to be good and not be hanging over. Right. So it's this corner here. So we're going to line it up. That is so much better. The other one is more for writing. This one is a darker leg for for arty things. Arty things. Is Naomi back? Yeah, yeah, she's just down the room. So what is for dinner? Shepherd's pie, it's in the oven. Awesome. See ya. See ya. Have fun. You know, I'm trying to drop some other place tonight. I 
actually think. I think we should have really rough cut this the whole way out. So let's do that. How are you, sweetie? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Do this bit here just in case. Um, um, oh, there you go. Karen would like three, you like the hearts. Um, you could have both and make to order. Yep, I could actually. Love hearts can be used with practical anything, so they would be good, says so Jacqueline. Hello, Janet. I actually like the concept of the companion pages because it's like having the paper and ready-made embellishments there to use all together. Yep. Chippets pie. Can I come home for dinner? You can, Jen, but it's a little bit far. Oh, hopefully you guys get to come up here for um retreat sometime. It was, Jen, I think it was you, wasn't it, Jen, that was contemplating coming all the way from Tassie for retreat? That'd be so cool. Okay, we're going to cut out the flowers. Yeah, the whole thing with the companion page, what I wanted to achieve was to have a way for us to, one, have some pattern paper with our non-paper collections because you know feels like I'm um, you know having to sell my vital organs sometimes to pay the um pay the bill for the paper but you know it's worth it good paper is worth the expense just you've got to buy so much of it and we sell a lot of paper we do sell we do sell out eventually and um, because we were selling out so quickly, we actually have increased the order. We want the paper to last probably three to four years in the store before it sells out. Um, but, yeah, our collections, we're, we're not going to do, like, paper to have a piece of paper but also to have something that you can grab this and a piece of cardstock and look I've got a piece of cardstock a piece of vellum the companion page and we're going to have a go at making a whole project I think we need the green leaves but maybe a little bit of the tall ones as well and you can edit the leaves as you go might cut, might do. What are you getting off your sister's desk? I need to tell my sisters because I can't use yours. No, I'm teaching a class.
something like that. And let's those and let's see what size photo mat we could get out of here um, I've booked my holiday for August woohoo yeehaw so We could probably get a five and a quarter about it by five and a quarter out here. Hello, Diane. Hello, Cheryl. We're going to cut just where these two points are. So just, we're just cutting just there like that. Oh, I think it went there. And then... I'm just cutting this bit off. Now you could use these on a card, like, do you know what I mean? Like you could tuck them like that on a card. They're really made, little embellishment bits. And then let's go five and a quarter. Maybe not. Five and a quarter. And maybe not. We've got a corner. That's all right. We will, why is that in there? Oh no, we need to cut a fake photo. Okay. Let's just cut a five by five. Right. Not fussy cutting scissors for that. Oh, it's a bit dodgy on that corner there as well. Okay. Let's do like... Let's do like... Let's do like five by five by five. Five by five. And then we'll do like we'll cut down our five by five we ordered from the photo place to four and three quarter by four and three quarter. Look at that! I have a corner conker because there was a dodgy corner. Then we're going to go back to cutting the middle out. And I think what we need to do. Let's probably get the design board out. It's definitely going to need some sort of flicking, something on the background, some sort of watery colourness on the background. So I've got that there. Let's move all the bits and pieces we cut up there.
So like a green leaf and a gold leaf. Need to distress that yet. I'll sort of put like that. And then we need some sort of word or something. Ooh, what's that? XO. Hello Robin. Stenciling, yep, stenciling would be good. So I don't want to cover all this up. I do like the XO. What's this one? Holiday memories. Oh, I like that. I don't think it's a product. I don't even think it's been photographed. I think it was just something I prototyped once for something, something at some stage. Oh, yeah. So I do keep saying these need to go on a ring. So early on we did one that was sort of like it was from grunge street it's like a grungy background it was based on one of the pieces of paper it's experimenting when am i not experimenting hearts potential that one. Hmm. There's a real grungy one. Oh, and it looks like the Rachel's don't own it. I use the spots one a lot. No. What do I? gonna do what am I gonna do I might do the watercolor washing this myself I think I want something. I think we might stencil some script over. So colour that. We'll do some gold washiness in the background. Let's do that. Yes, let's. 
then what we might do is we might use like brown to stencil and to color our title so it's sort of calm nice calm peaceful place this is gold i have got a new bigger tube because we sell this in a bigger tube as well Gold is almost, and you know what's going to happen to the tube, this tube of gold, when it's empty? It will be used in a piece of art. Let's really mix that up with water. heap of water so we sort of want something sort of that we're gonna spray into the brush to get sort of there we go more casual and we want something here and something here We want it to be nice and sort of cash. So it doesn't look like we did it all on purpose, it was just on the paper. Okay, plastic palettes don't like heat and vellum doesn't like heat. Oh, I should probably just move my fussy cutting. So while that dries for a minute, let's colour our title with our brown ink. So I've got walnut stain, gathered twigs works. I've got like a gathered twigs oxide here. I've got a lost shadow. Just a brown. Uh, it's one away well run away princess this week coming up is our collection we're using in the March group it's very exciting it's an awesome collection some um, Very feminine, but it can be used for masculine stuff because it can be quite dark. I know why this is not a product because this is a prototype that needs to be fixed because the Y is hanging on by a thread. I now remember why it wasn't used. This was meant to go to my desk and it didn't. It's meant to be on my desk to be because um, the Y. I will fix that before we put it into the kits. How does that sound? I think that sounds like a plan. Just put my hands here. Get my fingers in the water tub. Wipe the ink off my hands. A bit gross.
Thanks, Jacqueline. Notice how the metallic has grabbed the surface and then leaves the water, like the water just moves away. Let's pick up the excess water. Let's find a clean path. So we can finish this before we do it. a little bit wet. Needs to be completely dry before we add the ink for our stenciling. I think that's dry enough. So when we put our thing back on, here like this, probably will move that up there a little. Better. So we're going to have, we need probably a little bit of stenciling here, a little bit here, and a little bit here. And maybe a couple of other little touches. And just circular and we don't want it to be super duper in your face we just want it to be some sort of sorry it strobes when the white goes up there some sort of you know soft you know just a hint of into something. It's a bit of where you've got some of your splatter. Like that. And then when we try now. Yep, that's just enough. Okay, so let's put just a tiny bit of what's just what's on the tool around the edge. It's not perfectly even the whole way around. Just just to soften the edge a little. Soften the corners.
So I just saw them upside down in the drawer. Oh, I'm so heavy handed with stenciling. Sometimes I am too. But you know, you just um sometimes it's a matter of just not applying ink to the stencil, like to the blending tool or whatever you're using for stenciling stenciling. Radio. So let's bring this back and let's prepare our pieces. Like let's get them prepared. Let's stick our fake photo to our mat or your real photo we'll be using. Oh, I need to distress the photo mat. Otherwise it's gonna look odd. I think. Thank you, Marie. go and let's put some tape on the back of this hidden behind the frame so that it doesn't can't be seen through the vellum because you can see the tape through the vellum like if you put it right behind the vellum we might put our photo mat up on some chippy strip to raise it up. Let's get some of that. So what we're going to do is prepare all our pieces ready for construction and then we'll um, Put it together, do a bit of an audition again. So let's put our two flowers on some chippy strip. And then a bit of this big green one we'll put like the bottom end on some chicky strip, this big long green leaf. Right. So we'll have a flower here, a gold leaf, and a green leaf. And then we'll have gold leaf, green leaf. We're hiding the cut bits. And then we'll put our title here with our wonky Y. And then let's give that a test drive. Look at that. A piece of cardstock, a companion page, and a title. It is crooked, I know. 
Let me think. I think we're ready to stick it together. So we've come in about, I'm going to do it sort of even, it's like five eighths of an inch. What a measurement. So where is that in the hole? Skin of things. About that far in. Let's come in like three quarters of an inch from the edge. I've got to sit here like this because it's not enough room on the desk. Peel all the bits of tape off. This is why at that stage, just before we do our final audition, we add all the tape. Uh, thank you, Di and Deborah. Thank you, Sandy and Dee. Okay, so we're just, it's not going to be perfect. photo is out here. The glue on the back. Like I said the other night, you could put like tape on your chippy strips. I'm not a fan of glue, but I have been using glue. I'll admit. So I put it sort of where I want it and then kind of just I don't want to completely hide that beautiful vellum. Oh, piece of vellum. So what do we have? A piece of vellum, a, piece, a companion page, a title, and a bit of cardstock. Then we have, see now look, I didn't put tape on this. Then we have our journal block, which I wasn't going to put the little journal blocks on every companion page like that. Oh, divided to denim. The two divided to denim ones don't have them. But in saying that, as I've been creating with companion pages, I have found that this little journal block, like this little square of pattern paper of a, of a contrast has actually been really really handy so flower there and because we're covering up that corner put tape on this flower Oop, I've got a bit of something something there so I've got to put green leaf and I've got a gold leaf. So it is a sort of a green layout, but the gold gives a beautiful contrast. So we've got this lovely golden leaf here. And put that there. Yeah. 
Nope, I think it's ink. Oh, it's from this. It's ink from my title. Whoopsie. It's just the faintest of mine. Looks like it's part of the script. I'll show you how to fix that in a second. How we're going to fix that little inky mark. So I'm going to put some glue on my title. I'm definitely going to put glue on the Y that's hanging by a thread. Remember when you get the kit, your kit will not have the dodgy holiday memories. This will have a beautiful, perfect holiday memories. I'm going to use the photo of the straightness guide. And straighten up our Y. Y is the Y, so troublesome. Okay, so where's our stencil? Right here. So I've got a little tiny mark here. There it is there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just, it's just there. There we go. Pixelated. So there we are. Got our journal block and then we've got our little tiny bit of stenciling. So if you find you're heavy handed, just don't load your blending tool or blending brush up with ink after doing your title. You can see bits of that showing through the vellum. Now notice how I didn't glue the vellum to the frame. Sometimes I do and it gets all puckery and wrinkly, but they want to show you how it's nice and flat when you don't use glue. Rightio. Very Aussie. Oh, is a bit, isn't it, Karen? Um, thank you, Trish. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Di and Robin. Thank you, Marie. So there we go. Uh, we will make a kit for this, and it's very, um, I know it's very simple, but sometimes simple can be very hard. So we ended up with a four and three quarter inch by four and three quarter inch. Thank you, photo. Photo book. Gorgeous mix of colours. Love it, says Dee. Thank you, Diana and Jacqueline. Thank you, Raquel. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Deborah. So there you go. We're all, you know, we've done that. That's class 11. I'm going to be back in 44 minutes to do class 12. The last one, you know what they say, less is more. Less is sometimes more and sometimes less can be the harder of the two to make. It Sometimes less can be really hard to make. I still have this bag of chip board to sift through and work out what uh, go or product. I'm going to show you one of the little tiny things. I actually think we need these in our creative arsenal. How tiny they are. But, oh, my gosh, could you imagine these little things like i would never fussy cut that and i am a fussy cut nut and there's no way i'd fussy cut that but could you imagine just being able to stick something like that on a page so i think they're going to be a product so yes i do have this little bag of um interesting to go through it's pretty tired last night and then didn't get any sleep um thank you karen i hope you like a green page karen thank you <laughs> we'll see you soon yes cheryl 
So I'm going to go and eat some dinner and we will probably put this kid up during the next class. So um, take care, stay safe, love is all, and thank you so very much for being a wonderful part of our creative family. We really, truly do appreciate you. And we do these super weekends just for you. Um, Milton came up with this concept in 2020 as a way to thank our customers for supporting us when we had to change and close and for a way to help customers you guys learn lots and lots of stuff and have a resource to come back to time and time again so that's where super weekends came from we hadn't done one for years but now we've done two already this year and i think we're going to continue with them because we're trying new things and learning new things and i'm experimenting with what i design and coming up with i think innovative ways of solving creative problems so that's what it's all about what was the companion page called this one is green and gold it's um a peach whimsy one and it's the green and gold one jacqueline and naomi is the birds one in the last class this here when i first said i wanted to do this peach whimsy quentin goes i don't know and then when he saw what the concept for it was he really liked it so there you go um thanks d thank you i truly appreciate every class but thank you karen we appreciate you too we appreciate all of you so thank you take care stay safe and i will see you all in 41 minutes oh no 51 minutes not 44 minutes before it was 51 minutes i'll see you all soon bye